Hi, I'm Dave, Customer Service Representative and Tech for TRP Brakes. Today we're going to take a look at how to install and set up your new Parabox disc brake system. Start by removing your stem and handlebars. Install the Parabox onto the steer tube, making sure you have at least 14 millimeters of extra stack height. Reinstall your stem and handlebars. Use spacers as needed for clearance with the Parabox. Secure the brake calipers using the included M6 bolts to the fork and the frame of your bike. You do not need to tighten completely at this point. Double check your hose routing for any clearance issues. Remove the plastic cap. Unscrew the compression nut using an 8mm opened end wrench. Pull gently on the hose to remove it. Some oil will drip out. Measure the hose length, making sure you have enough room for full rotation of your bars. Cut your hose at the desired length. Install the barb. If you do not have a barb press, you can use a plastic mallet or the edge of a table to tap it into place, making sure it is fully seated. Slide your compression nut and olive onto the hose, making sure your olive is orientated correctly. Reinsert the hose and tighten the compression nut. Wipe off any excess fluid. Replace the plastic cap and secure the hose into its proper location. Start by removing your brake pad retaining bolt clip and bolt using a 3 mm Allen wrench. Then remove your brake pads. Remove the master cylinder plug using a T15 torque driver and install your bleed port fitting. Secure the hose provided for the exiting fluid. Using the mineral oil provided in the bleed kit, fill your syringe half full. and tap out any air bubbles. 
Remove the bleed port cover and place the 7mm wrench onto the valve. Then secure your syringe hose to the port. Open the port by turning it one quarter turn counterclockwise. While holding the pistons, push the plunger in the syringe to push the fluid through. Tap on the line to release any air bubbles that might be stuck. Push the fluid through until no air bubbles come out of the exiting hose. Retighten the bleed port on the caliper and remove the hose. Wipe off any excess fluid. Remove the hose from the exit bleed port and then unscrew the port. Replace the master cylinder plug. Reinsert the brake pads into the caliper. Secure the brake pads using the brake pad retaining pin and clip. Push the pads back if necessary. To install the rotor, orientate the rotor on your wheel, making sure the logos are facing out and the directional arrows are facing the correct direction. Using a T25 Torx, screw in all the mounting bolts. Use a star pattern sequence to tighten the disc screws. Do not just simply tighten clockwise or counterclockwise. If needed, unwrap your handlebar tape to expose the brake housing. Included is a barrel adjuster noodle. Before routing your cable, make sure the barrel adjuster is threaded all the way in. Route your cable along the handlebar. Cut to ensure a smooth and clean transition into the barrel adjuster noodle. Thread the brake cable through the lever, housing, and noodle, and finally, through the parabox lever arm. Pull the cable tight. Using a 3mm Allen wrench, unscrew the Parabox setup pin from its home and place it into the linkage alignment hole. Pull the cable tight once more.
With the cable tight, hold the anchor nut with a 9mm opened end wrench and tighten the anchor screw with a 2.5mm Allen wrench. Tighten to 5 to 7 Newton meters. You can then remove the setup pin and thread it back into its home position. Tighten to 0.8 to 1 Newton meter. If there is any play in the lever, use the barrel adjuster noodle to remove any slack or play there might be. Bend the cable out of the way or into the desired position. Trim and secure it with a cable end tip. Install the wheel and tighten the skewer. There might be some rubbing at first. Slightly loosen the caliper mounting bolts. And then align the caliper so the rotor is centered within. Retighten the caliper mounting bolts to 6 to 8 Newton meters. Rewrap your bars if necessary.